When we begin work with a culture, our first job is to check that the culture is pure. This may be done using a technique called street plating. First, you label your equipment with the date, the name or source of the microorganism, your name, and your group or class identifier if appropriate. These are written around the edge of the base of the plate containing the agar so as not to obscure the growth on the plate. We write on the base so that if the lid of the plate is lost, the culture can still be identified. To street plate, we use a wire loop. We sterilize it before use by holding it in the hottest part of the Bunsen burner flame, reasonably vertically, so as much of the loop and wire as possible can be heated. It is now allowed to cool as a hot loop will kill the very microbe that you are intending to culture. Plates are usually kept close to the Bunsen burner flame as you work with them. This minimizes the possibility of unwanted microorganisms or contamination. Use the loop to collect a small sample of the culture you are interested in. Here we are transferring a single bacterial colony from an agar plate, but you can prepare street plates using microorganisms from anywhere, including broth cultures or environmental samples. The loop is held so the circle at the end is vertical and moved lightly across the surface of the agar as shown in the part labelled 1 on this drawing. The material which we have just transferred to the plate is now known as the inoculum. The loop is sterilised and cooled again before some of the original inoculum is now moved across the plate as represented by part 2 on the drawing. Make several parallel strokes, a few millimetres apart, covering about a quarter to a third of the plate. The loop is sterilised again and used to move a further amount of culture across the plate as shown in part 3 of the drawing. During this, care is taken not to overlap the original inoculum. After sterilising the loop again, a third set of parallel streaks are made as shown in part 4 of the drawing. Finally, the loop is sterilised and once more used to street the culture into the remaining uninoculated part of the plate as shown in part 5. Street plates are inverted to avoid condensation flooding the agar and incubated usually overnight. 37 degrees Celsius is the incubation temperature used for bacteria capable of growing in the human body. If material has been collected from environmental sources, then a lower temperature may be used. After incubation, there is a pattern consisting of bacterial growth. As the distance from the initial inoculum increases, single colonies are visible. Single colonies originate from a single bacterial cell. This means that all cells in a single colony are usually identical. In a pure culture, all colonies will look alike in shape, colour and texture. If any colonies have a different appearance, that probably suggests there are contaminating organisms present. 